a few weeks ago, we told you about a group of high school students from Falconer who are headed to the Dominican Republic to dig aqueducts. Now, earlier this week, you see there they set off on what the club advisor, Mary Plum, calls a journey of a lifetime. It changes your eyes. So to see things you haven't seen yet changes how you see things going forward. The ones that I remember the most are the ones who are grateful and know that we don't have to do this, um, but that we're choosing to, and that's a lasting impression. Now, Kyle, these ladies have already accomplished quite a bit. Take a look. In a post on Facebook, their advisor said, Within a three-hour period, they dug a 276-foot ditch up the mountain roadside, prepared and placed pipe, and then connected it to a nearby house. Now, when they're all finished with their work at that location, they will have served fresh water to 52 families. <clears throat> that is 400 people. That is awesome. I can't believe that they're actually Isn't doing it? that. That's, that's something that you can actually be proud of. You're going to a different country and actually helping people get fresh water. And you think about it this way, how many people from Falconer have that opportunity to see a how totally different world? Anywhere. Yeah, you think here. even like bigger areas like say New York City, like in the, the JCC story there, you know, those kids m maybe wouldn't have that opportunity and they're in New York City. Right. Imagine the small, small town village like Falconer. of Falconer. Uh, that's crazy. It's incredible. So great job, ladies and we plan to talk to you when you get back, so we want to hear all about it and, you know, just wish you well and enjoy the rest of your trip. Yes, great. Have fun, mainly.